All right, the newest and latest Marvel film, The Marvels, has hit theaters. It's been getting some mixed reaction from the critics, so let's find out what I thought about it right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Tyson, and we are here to talk about movies. That's right, we do movie reviews, movie trailer reactions. We cover major movie news on our Mint One podcast. We do movie rankings, and of course, we do Oscar Mondays. So, if that sounds interesting to you, please check us out and subscribe. We are on the way to 1,000 subscribers, and I would love to have your guys' support as we go about that journey here. So, with that done and out of the way, let's get into the Marvels, and what did I think of it? Well... This is a Marvel movie that I was not really excited for. I knew it was coming, so I was just kind of like, all right, I'll go see that. And usually, I'm pretty excited to see a Marvel movie. But for the past couple of years, I think as everybody has felt, a little disappointment from what the MCU has been bringing um, to screen. And, you know, that could be due with Kevin Feige being stretched too thin. That could be due with everybody just stress beyond belief because there are so many projects that are put out per year that it's just an insane amount and they are going to be fixing that now but i think it's definitely a problem here because i don't know what this movie was the story felt all over the place i had really no idea what the point of this movie was and even thinking about it i still don't understand what the main takeaway really was supposed to be now let me start off by saying the trio in here that we see with captain marvel miss marvel and monica rambeau is fantastic i love these three characters together their chemistry is great the actors you can tell get along perfectly and that showed on screen and that was definitely the best part but iman Vellani stole the entire show who plays miss marvel and i love the show miss marvel fantastic and i love that her family is back in this movie because it brings life and comedy into a movie that really needed it and that aspect of it really did save the movie from being a bad movie in my opinion um i thought this was an enjoyable time in the theater and it probably was carried out because of iman Vellani's performance and her family as well which were in here a little bit more than i thought they were which I will never complain about. I'm so glad that they were given the screen time they were. Because, uh, like I said, obviously the best part in the movie was her character and her family. But the worst part of this movie is the villain. D I don't even... Darren? I, completely useless. I mean, probably the worst MCU villain, actually. Very forgettable. It looked like she had Ronan and the Accusers staff from Guardians of the Galaxy. And she was Cree just like him, had no idea really what her story was. She had a bangle like Miss Marvel's bangle, and that like gave her power and was able to, you know, like, I don't even know. And she just wanted to conquer elements to restore her world. I, I, it was just a useless villain in my book, useless 100%. And the story kind of revolves around that, I guess. And then you have this emotional connection that you're supposed to have between Captain Marvel and, uh, uh, and uh, Monica Rambeau, you know, from when Monica Rambeau was a child. You know, obviously Captain Marvel knew her. And that relationship was okay. You know, it kind of paid off, but the, the emotional through lines were there, but the delivery wasn't 100%. Um, but I thought Brie Larson in here was fine. I thought uh, the person who plays Monica Rambeau was fine as well. Uh, but just none of them really lived up to Iman Vellani, if I'm honest. And I think a lot of people, from what I've been hearing, and I think just from everybody that's out there, whether you love or you hate this movie or you just dislike it and you think it's okay, everyone is saying the best part of this is Iman Vellani. And they're 100% right. And I think that's really the only saving grace here. I mean, the comedy, there, there are some weird, weird ventures, some side quests here in this story. They go to a planet that is, like, singing and dancing, and that's how they communicate. What the heck was that? That was just garbage. And then, Flurkins. There's a lot of Flurkins in this movie. Um, that was 
pointless and silly, silly in a bad way. It's like they tried to go for some comedic moments and they fell flat about 95% of the time. So that was very disappointing to see. Goose, Flurkin, I like. The rest of them, I, I, I don't like that and didn't understand a single word of that. Nick Fury is in here for a little bit. Samuel Jackson, he's fine in this. He's better in here than he was in Secret Invasion, because I have no idea why that show ended like that. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just a very, it's a convoluted mess, is how I would describe this movie, but it's enjoyable. It's not as bad as I think it's getting its reputation for. As you can see on Rotten Tomatoes, I believe it's like a 60% right now, so it did go to being fresh after being rotten when it debuted. So I think a lot more people are liking this movie than a lot more people thought that people would so at the end of the day i am going to give this a positive rating i did have a good time while watching this i did have a couple chuckles and especially laugh with amon Blani because i feel like she was fangirling both in the movie and in real life which you know it's great to see because i totally get that uh and i like nick fury in here i like um miss marvel's family and that's about it but that did it for me you know, it was an enjoyable time seeing these three actresses together on screen really brought it together. So, at the end of the day, I'm going to give the Marvels a 6 out of 10. That is how I would rate this film. Not the best and MCU, nowhere near the best, but also not the worst. And it's not as bad as people are saying, but the villain in the story and the dialogue in here, you're, you just scratch your head and you're like, how? How did this all pass the smell test? I don't know. So, at the end of the day, that's my score. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours down below in the comments. What did you think of the most recent addition to the MCU, the Marvels? Very excited to hear that. And we are going to be talking about a lot of Marvel here this weekend on the podcast because we are going to have a review for Loki Season 2. That was that was incredible. That, <laughs> that was great. Love that. So I'm going to be talking about that. And then also, either this weekend or maybe sometime this week, or I might even hold off till the end of the year, I'm not sure. But I am going to be doing a ranking of the entire MCU uh, for this past year. I did it at the beginning of this year. Uh, that video is also very long because I did it with my friend Kelsey. And I did it before some of the projects that came out this year, obviously. So I want to include those in a new yearly ranking. Uh, that's what I want to do for the MCU. So we're going to be getting that sometime soon. So that's all I'm going to do it for me, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day night, whatever time you're watching this, and until the next one, I'll catch you then.